Now I was thinking about you know stretching this out a little bit, but let's just tie this all up with a nice bow. I've got one more Kershaw launch to look at today, and this was this one is important because how many times have you gone to the mailbox and you get this letter that you've been waiting for and you're just so excited, but you got nothing to open it up with. I mean, you got to get this thing open fast. So you need the right tool for the job. Well, Kershaw, in their wisdom, has come up with a tool to help you quickly get your mail open as fast as humanly possible. And that is the Kershaw Launch 8 Super Fast Letter Opener. This thing will definitely handle all of your mail opening needs. And if you want to know more about it, don't go away. So first I was going to skip this one because, you know, some states have rules about how fast you can open your mail. But I handled this at a store and I'm like, oh man, that thing is just too slick. I'm like, I gotta have it. I mean, after all, there's a difference between legal to own and legal to carry out in public. So this bad boy, I mean, I get a lot of mail. So Kershaw designed the blade so that it can easily insert itself between the gap of the flap of the envelope and the main body of the envelope. And then it's just got a nice CPM 154 crucible steel blade that when you slide that in there, it just opens that mail like nobody's business. No more fumbling with it, no more tearing it, no more paper cuts. I mean, this is a tool that every mailroom worker needs. This is a tool that anyone that gets a lot of packages and letters needs, you know, because grandma doesn't, refuses to learn how to use email. And I'm going to be uh, showing some of the other ones that I have too, just so you can kind of compare. Now, between what I'll call the first generation of Kershaw launchers and the new generation of Kershaw launches, I mean, the aesthetics of them has just increased substantially. This thing is so cool. Just the size, the weight is perfect. The button placement, the speed of it. This is like one of those things you don't need unless you get a lot of mail, but you gotta buy it anyway because look at it. I mean, I should just stop right here. This this scene sells itself. So let's go ahead and go over the specs real quick. This thing has an overall length of 8.25 inches and a closed length of 4.75 inches. It has a blade length of 3.5 inches so again, you might have to only open your mail at home. You can't open your mail out at the mall or the movie theater or anything like that. Blade Steel CPM 154. It is a stonewashed blade finish. It has an aluminum handle with like carbon fiber inlays. Clip is reversible even though the button is not. And button actuator and lock. Total weight on this is 2.4 ounces and this is made in the USA. So Kershaw keeps up with these launches like they have with the last couple. I mean, originally people were kind of like, eh, yeah, no, on some of these launches, but Man, they're really getting it down. So there's a secret to making a good button-actuated 
automatic letter opener or box opener because we did some box openers before and that is the blade can't be too long or too heavy we'll demonstrate this but with this one they actually it's it's almost it looks like a false edge but it's not this did some uh, removal of the material up here which lightens the blade and thus allows it to spring open faster that extra little bit of metal being taken out is just about you know equates to a half second between getting your mail open or not getting your mail open this thing just feels fantastic I highly doubt there's anybody that would get this in their hand and be like uh, this knife sucks I mean it's really liking this thing definitely not something you want to work sharp because <laughs> that uh, that point for getting in that flap on the envelope I think go away pretty quick on a work sharp all right so here here are the launches that I currently have you know for the new ones they didn't really exactly come out in order got a little messed up here but we'll put them in, in order of the numbers so you've got the launch 8 and then we did the launch 9 which is great little box cutter because it's not always envelopes sometimes you get boxes too and then sometimes those boxes are wrapped in twine or something like that so you need the Kershaw Rapid Twine Removal Tool, which would be the Launch 10. So those are the new ones. And then going back to the other ones that I own, the original, and this is like the second one, because I, I think I gave the first one away. So that's the original Launch 4. And we covered this in the previous videos on these I think it was the launch 10 where we we mainly talked about it and why these ones are such an improvement over this one but this one's still a stout little nice automatic and then the two big ones this is where the stuff comes into play that I was talking about with the length or the weight of the blade because once you get into the bigger ones, like the Launch 5, the speed coming out is not quite as fast because there's more blade to push out. And on occasion, with the larger ones, you might not get a total lockup. But this one being the one that's patterned the Emerson, this one has an excellent handle. And then the one other one that I have is, is this the 6? I think this is the Launch 6. Another nice one. But, that, but again, out of all of them, I would say these two bigger ones have the higher rate of not having a total solid block up 100% of the time. Just because the you know the spring mechanism that's pushing the blade out has to work harder with the heavier blade whereas opposed to these small ones where you've got an, you know these small blades I mean they come out I mean they you can feel the difference in how hard they pop out and lock up and especially on like you know very lightweight blades it comes out very fast same mechanism difference being the size and the weight of the blades and plus this you know these old these older ones you know the black blade ugh. you know start they're putting some of these out they've got anodized ones kind of almost want to get the I think it's the launch 2 is the other one I thought was pretty pretty nice out of the originals but overall these, you know, the bigger ones don't get used that much anymore. This one might open some boxes because it's the one I 
care the least about as far as how it looks on the small ones but still a good little solid knife just doesn't have the great blade geometry of these which are vastly superior cutters plus vastly more aesthetically pleasing I mean this look a thousand percent better I'd say I like almost out of the the 8, 9, and 10 I like them about equally I think this is the coolest one even though it's not the one that's going to get the most used because let's face it this thing is designed for opening mail and that's it so apart from opening mail I'm not going to be doing utility work with a mail opening blade so it comes down to this one probably being the little the mini workhorse of the bunch but this one loves to get in there and fight for that honor this one likes padded envelopes so this is my padded envelope from Amazon opener and then this is my cardboard slicer and that's my letters and bills opener so Kershaw is definitely <clears throat> at the front of the line when it comes to these one-handed mail opening tools that they've been putting out now this one about 10 bucks more than these so this one you know they shave a couple pennies off so it doesn't say a hundred bucks but it's a hundred bucks <laughs> look 99 98 or whatever the heck it is is a hundred bucks <laughs> because if someone handed you those two pennies you would just throw them in the cup holder in your car and wouldn't care not saying you have to buy it but let's face it every once in a while you got some money burning a hole in your pocket and this is a man toy it's almost, it's almost got a, a bit of a <laughs> fidget spinner type vibe to it not that you're going to spin it but it's like I just want to sit there and mess with this thing So if you hadn't actually, I mean, I'm telling you, I've looked at these things on the computer. I've looked at them in pictures. And it does not do it justice compared to actually holding it in your hand. And anybody that has one of these, comment in the comment section below and back me up on this. So there you go. Got this from DLT. very nice so there you go I just wanted to throw that in there and wrap up this little series on uh, the Kershaw launches that I was doing it's just a little kick that I got on you know none of these came from Kershaw or anything like that it was actually the picture of the launch 9 that kicked it off I'm like ooh and then and then that spurred the launch 10 and then the, ultimately the launch 8 Opening my mail has never been so easy or effortless. So, a lot of people struggle with it. You know, and we shouldn't deprive people of tools that make it easier to do things like that. So, if you too get a lot of mail, then head on over to DLT Trading. And I'll have links to that in the description box below. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll have that letter out and in your hand in no time flat. All right, so that's all I got for right now, and then I'm going to get back to, I got a big old survival knife style knife to look at coming up, another uh, portable power unit, big water filter, what was the other big thing, got some new headlamps, mixing it up a little bit after this, after this little run of the launches. All right, guys, so Chris from Prepare My 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click a like, share, and subscribe. All those links down below help support the channel. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.